Hi, I'm Kirk Miller with AEM Electronics, and I'm here at Motivicity answering some of your questions about our product line. So one of the things that we like a lot is that we see where this product was designed for a motorsport application. But the price point allows the weekend warrior, the, the hardcore enthusiast, or the entry-level racer to access the same product. They can use it and they can gather information. They can tune up their driving to look where there's areas of improvement or where they're doing well. They can gauge themselves from event to event, both on the engine performance and the driver's performance. The bottom line is, is getting the biggest bang for the buck with this. There's a couple of things that separate it right away out of the gate. One is the environmental enclosure. It's waterproof, it's shockproof. Uh, it does have an SD card, but there's a boot that goes around the side, so it can live in a fairly harsh environment. Uh, secondly is the price point. Uh, you guys look up the price and it's, it's, uh, it's an amazing price point for the features that it offers. It has an onboard G analyst, onboard voltmeter, it can take GPS input, it can take AN put, CAN input for all of the AEM de uh, net devices. It has eight analog inputs as well. Uh, there's several different ways. I mentioned some of the analog inputs. We actually have eight analog inputs. Four zero to fives, four zero to sixteen and a halfs. Three switch digitals, which are ground inputs or something along those lines, so you can watch for a cooling fan switching on or another type of fan switching on. Onboard G Analyst, 3G, and then an onboard voltmeter. You have all these features coming in. In addition to that, you have CAN inputs. So a weekend warrior or uh, a race team that doesn't have a real robust engine management system, you're gonna, you can capitalize on using all of your anal analog inputs along with your GPS input. If you want more, and you can get a lot more, you can can it in. So if you have an AEM Series 2, AEM EMS4, AEM Infinity system, it's literally one connector, and it gives you up to 19 channels of engine information. So you've got the unit installed, and now you want to start analyzing your data. What's really nice is AEM data is a very intuitive, template-based uh, data analysis program. So there's a channel list on one side, and it's literally as simple picking what channel you want to see on your graph. So you can grab it, drag it, drop it, and it auto scales. But what's nice is you can zoom in on it, and you can see a little bit tighter, and then if you get confused with channels that might be laying over, by simply clicking on any one of those channels, it highlights it. So you can see that, and then pulling them out, it's simple as dragging them back out, or hitting delete, and you can pull the channels back out. One of the things that I've heard several tuners that manage large groups of road race cars is that in the event they're out of track, they have a location that's separate from the ECU so they don't get near the calibration of the ECU. They can just pull data, email the calibration or the data file over to the tuner, and then they can give you information back there where they might even flash the box with a different upgrade. The areas that we see the AQ1 being used in from, from the race team uh, perspective, there's several tiers to that. One is a driver's going to want it because they can have the GPS input and they can watch their performance and segment up the track to see where they're doing well, where they might have room for improvement. The other part of it is that either a team owner, a tuner, or an engine builder gives them reams of information uh, from the engine's performance so they can watch is there degradation in a certain area, is it running lean, is it running hot, and they can make changes accordingly. So it's really two areas, driver performance and engine performance, and you can monitor both fairly tight. Okay, so we, we talked about our, our AQ1 data logger, we talked about our wideband failsafe, both of those, the software is available on our website, it's free for download, there's never a charge for an upgrade, everything's there for you. If you want to check this out, you just go there, load it, check it out, call us with questions.